Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Resonance. When we left off last time, I wasn't really sure what to do here, but I have now figured it out. So, we've got these up at the top, Ed's holding on to them. Anna was stuck over on this side. Oh, no, 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 don't actually do that, Anna. So, we've got the bridges extended. Ray, I want you to cut the power to him. There we go. And this is while all the stuff is magnetized up at the top. But we want him, it's important that he cuts the power at a point when the bridges were extended. So, now back over to Ed. You can drop those. Actually, there's another step here, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, go ahead. Turn it back on. So that now we can operate the bridges from Ray's side by using the fuse box. So, Anna can walk back over here to Ed. There we go. Ray cuts the power to it. Ed hit the magnet, bringing all of that paraphernalia all the way to the top. And right, restore the power. Bridge extends, trap set stuff up above. We can walk underneath. Hooray! Alright. Ed, you can let it go now, it's fine. And you can just hang out there. Uh, talk to Anna, please. Excuse me, Anna? What can I do for you? You can follow me. Come with me, please? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Now then, let's go check out this vault. Alright, this is nitpicky, but I'd actually rather not be Ed. We're gonna be Bennett. I like him best. Okay. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, you. Follow me. Let's go. Uh. You too. Hey, Anna. What can I do? Alright. You as hey, well. Ray. Yeah. Would you come with me, please? After you. All right, here we now go. Now that we're past the magnets, can we have our things back? Fine. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Lots that must be my things. uncle's vault, behind the glass. There are some papers here. Let's take a look. Your uncle holds the key. So we gotta match this up to his grave then? Looks like this is for you. Huh? There's another scrap of paper stuck to the back. Ooh, well, let's have a look at it. He is following me, Detective Winston Bennett. Um, Bennett? What is this? What are you looking at me for? Detective? The hell? Detective Bennett, were you or were you not following Dr. Morales in the days before his death? No, I had no idea who the old guy was until yesterday. I knew he was up to something. You stay out of this, asshole. That note you dropped last night? It all makes sense now. You wouldn't know sense if it punched you in your damn nose. Ed, Anna, I've put my career in jeopardy to help you guys. True. Last night, when Ed found you waiting <gasps> don't, outside don't my you apartment, do it. were you really just worried about me? Or did you have something to do with that man who was after me? Of course not. Bennett, give me your gun. Fuck you. Do not give smack him, him with gun, that. Detective. You guys! Ed? <gasps> Ed, grab his gun! Okay, I get their suspicious stuff, but I like Bennett. That should hold him when he comes to. Raymond, is he... He'll be alright. I just don't understand. Why would he... Anna, I know this is hard, but it's almost over. The vault is right there on the other side of that window. We need to get that door open and do what we came here to do. 
Dr. Morales is counting on us. We came here to destroy it, Ed, whether you realize that or not. And I th we didn't hear him out. I know there's suspicious things about Bennett, but he's right. He did do stuff that could jeopardize his position. I think he's a good guy. I may be a fool. This may just be because I like him, but I think he's a good guy. I don't want to be... I want to be Anna. Can we talk to him at all? Better look through his belongings to make sure he's not carrying another gun. Or anything we can use. What'd you take from him? His badge? His credit card? Oh, that's crappy. It's hard to see him tied up like that. Yeah, it is. But he was following me, and you didn't give him a chance to really explain. I wonder who he really works for. Hey, Ray. Hey. Oh, never mind. Bye. Oh, Uncle, what will we find in there? How many more secrets? All right, we got a fuse panel. Some sort of fuse panel. Touch it. Pencil could come in handy. What's this? Small box. I'll just take this. What's inside? A small corporate cardboard box with something rattling inside. Yeah, there's a fuse in the box. Well, all right then. This is just a pencil. Okay, well, a fuse should probably go here or here. There we go. It's just a light. An LED light joined to a fuse slot. Okay, so we've got to find another fuse. Uh, sticking my finger in it doesn't do much. Yeah, it's actually not a good idea. Um, it's looking like we need another fuse. Now then. A pad of legal paper. My uncle's note was written on the top page. Alright, and we can do something with it, so... Have at it. Ah. Uh. Three, two, two, one, three, three. Let's make sure there's not another one out there. Is indeed. Okay, thirteen, twenty-two, thirteen, three. So what's that mean? Holy cow. The lights don't seem to do anything by themselves. They're all unlit, so... Um... Huh. Alright, so there's got to be some particular way to do this. Uncle's key. Let's have a look. Alright, let's... Do we get a memory of looking at Uncle's grave? No? Okay, perhaps I should see if Ed has any useful memories about it. No, it's just this. Oh, well. That panel opened the thick steel door to the next room. The controls for the bars seem to be locked out. There's to be another way to get them open. Yeah. Oh, there's the fuse we need. Again, I can't quite reach it from here. What have... My pencil's not gonna reach it. Hmm...
What is this? And there's pages and pages and pages. So, okay, obviously this means something, but... Let's just skim through. Wait. underneath occasionally. Yeah, I don't really have any clue what's going on with this. We're just going to go through it all to see if there's anything like at the very end. What have you got? Duct tape and the screwdriver. I don't think a screwdriver is going to be enough to reach that fuse. We can try it though. Alright, so there's got to be a way to get this, the fuse over here. What have you got, Ray? Yeah, the heavy metal pipe. Not really sure what to do with it, other than clunk my friend on the head. pipe long enough. Let's see if I can reach it with this. Excellent. I can touch it, but not quite pull it back. Alright. And we need some duct tape. Well, we'll give, we'll give the pipe to Ed, I guess. There you go. Hey, excuse me, Ed. What's up? Can you come here for a sec? Here you go. Oh, okay. Now then. No, I need to swap my characters. There we go. Combine these. Excellent. Now. This should do it. We got it? We sure do. Alright, let's go put that in. Damn what? This fuse won't fit? What are you talking about? Three. Oh, it's bent! There. That should work much better. Okay, that was a really easy fix. I'm feeling better now. There. Okay, so that's got to accomplish something for us, right? Let's take a look at this. Oh, yep, we got another one now. Wait, and that was three. One, two, three. Um, what was it? 13, 22, 13, 3? No, that's not enough. I would just rather be Anna. Oh, this is a three. Ah. 31, 32, 21, 33. I do have him right in the way now, though. Go over here.
Dang it, I have to look at it again. I'm not good at holding numbers in my head. Okay. So. 30. One. Thirty-two, twenty-one, thirty-three. There we go. Oh, Excellent. Oh. Okay, yes, let's please talk to I'll this take guy. care of him. You two need to finish what we came here to do. Thank you. No, we need to talk to him, is what we really need to do. Mm. It's your turn now, Anna. You have to open it, and then we'll make the decision together. No, I'll make the Ed, decision myself, thank I you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. I couldn't have done it without you. But my uncle wanted me here for a reason. So get out. Oh, actually, I want to back out now. And it's too late. Welcome, Anna Castellanos Morales. Enter key phrase. Key phrase? It says it needs a key phrase. Your uncle holds the key. Your uncle must have believed that it was something you would be able to remember. You need to think back. The cemetery, your childhood, the last time you spoke to Dr. Morales. There must be something. Something you may have forgotten, but you can get it back. You just have to find it. Find it. Ah, back to this, eh? Okay, so that was the... Yep, can't climb back up. Well, it looks like the stairs is the only way to go. Come here, you! Hey, Mama! She's gone, Anna. She's with the other angels. Cry if you like. No one cares. Who? Huh? Dante, get your hands off my daughter. His daughter? Oh, I was right. He, he did kill what him. What have I done? No, but what do you mean... What do you mean your daughter, Javi? It's my Uncle Angela's headstone. He died before I was born. No, don't stop looking at it. We are not done. Okay, well, let's do it this way. All right, so... Oh, just rub it over the top again? We can do that. Okay, that was... Can I move the paper? Because there's nothing showing up by these circles. Okay, so what did that give us? Need to figure out what it means. What was my uncle trying to tell me? Oh, and it didn't even. Okay, so that didn't do anything for us. Something in our memories? What were his last words? Find my vault. Okay. Your uncle holds the key. Wait. Father. My. Th that's right. That's right. Because we saw in the memory. Get your hands off my daughter. He didn't mean Angelo. 
He meant this guy that for some reason we thought was our father, but is not. My father's headstone. He, he was. See, my father? Uh, I think, I'm thinking not, Anna. I'm thinking not. Yeah, there we go. So Te prometo. What's that mean? Welcome, Anna Angel. Video file to Anna. Video is ready to play. Let's display it. You got it? Yes. Open it. There's a video from my uncle. My father. Your father? I need to watch it. All right, but don't do anything afterward. We need to talk it through. Ed? Would you let me be alone for this? Yeah, get out of here. I... Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Anna, yeah. Let That's... me back in as soon as the video is over. It's not your decision. All right, yes, I do want to see this video very much. I am a weak man, Anna. I failed you, I failed your mother, and perhaps I have failed the world as well. Your mother, I loved her very much. And though she knew she shouldn't, she loved me back. The man you called your father, he knew. He always knew. He took out the anger he had for me on you. And when I tried to protect you, I went too far. I had to leave, to hide. The police suspected I had something to do with his death, and I... I was a coward. I broke my promise to you, Anna. It was a lie. When you needed me most, I ran away. But I could not run away far enough to escape my sins. I'm being followed. I know they want resonance, and I know they mean me harm. I do not think I will live very long past this day. My last act was to be to put an end to my research, but as I put my finger to the button, I realized that I could not do it. Why? I was too old, too weak, and too corrupt. This power, resonance, could save the world, or it could destroy it. This is as poisoned a legacy as any I have given you, Anna. The choice is yours, to save Resonance or to destroy it. I hope you will forgive me, my Anna Angel. Well, that's a doozy of a thing to lay on her shoulders all of a sudden. Anna? Anna, what did he say? Let's talk about this. Can you just open the bars? Can you shut up a second, Ed, and let me Anna, think? Anna, let me in. We can make this choice together. It's not yours to make. You don't have to do it alone. No, I want to do it alone, We can't though. destroy this technology. Humanity can use it. We can fulfill our potential. Oh, uh, Ed, it's... I'm trying to think about this logically, but he is really, really, really irritating me. what you're thinking. Anna, if Javi had just said destroy it, I would destroy it without Let question. He's the one who made it. He's the one who most knows. Anna, and please. he really did. In the phone call to Ed, that was the last anyone heard of him. We don't know when this video was made in relation to when he made that phone call. This was probably made before. So the phone call, he's straight up said, we got to destroy it. That's what he said. Now, obviously, someone has access to resonance weapons because they used one to kill him. So potentially it could be good to... But you know what? No. No. Do I want other people to understand resonance so we can try to fight resonance with resonance? And then it's, in a way, really, that's, that's similar to the, the whole nuclear problem that we have now. Someone has a nuke, someone else develops a nuke, and there's no... There's no... It's like there's no real de-escalation. Everybody has this stuff. It's out there. The threat is ever-present. So... 
Do I want to be part of that here in this game world? Unleashing resonance on the world, a new weapon that everyone has to fear? Yeah, one person has it, one group has it, but do I want to take a chance now and open it, it up and then more people have it? And what does that really help if more and more people have this capability? It doesn't solve anything. Nope, we're destroying it. Anna, please open the bars. Nope. No, stop! Anna? Let me back in as soon as the video is over. <sighs> Looks like he's coming too. Um, yeah, what do you want with the resonance research? What do you want with the resonance research? <sighs> the fuck? Answer the question. What's your plan, detective? You hit me, you asshole! Yeah. And I'll do it again if you don't start answering Back questions. Back off, Ray. This is rough. I actually do not sympathize with Ray at this moment. I'm maintaining my hope that Bennett is in the clear and... Alright. Who do you work for? The Aventine City Police Department. You're not smart enough to have planned this all out on oh, your own. Oh, you don't know that, Flattery Ray. Flattery will get you <laughs> nowhere. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Good luck. Alright. Yeah, we'll go with the things, instead of all of this crap and assuming, let's go with the things we know. Then explain that note. What note? Uh... That's right, I gave it back to my, to my memory. Uh, this note? Last night, in the baseball field, you dropped a note. The reporter is following you. Get rid of him. Was that from your boss? Worried I'd figure it all out? If I were a bad guy, you figuring things out would be the least of my worries. Check my shirt breast pocket, unless that's too complicated for you. <laughs> it's the letter I dropped. You didn't read all of it. It's from a friend of mine, five years ago. A reporter followed him around for a while, saying it was for some bullshit day in the life of a policeman story. Turned out it was for an expose. Unceremoniously outed the poor bastard without warning or permission. Ruined his career. No commendations, no promotion, no nothing. You know the way things are these days. No one wanted him on their squad. He'd been a high flyer too. That's why he went along with the story. He quit one day, vanished. Think he's up north somewhere. I still keep it close. He was a good, a good friend. So, you're... Maybe you didn't understand the moral of my story, Raymond. It's no one's damn business but my own. Now, untie me. This doesn't change anything. Uh, it kind of changes That's a lot it of wasn't things. That's the only unexplained note we've come across. Alright then. Where is the other note? Does that have it or does... Oh shoot. Okay, um... And I'm stuck here. So explain the note, and then what else? I don't think that's actually... That's not the note I was going to question him about. No, it's not. But who's got the note that you wanted to question him about? And how do I get access to it? Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm a fool. Morales' note. Duh. I don't know what I was thinking that was. So, tell me about this explain one. Explain the note from Dr. Morales with your name on it. Why would he call you out by name? I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe it was planted. So your argument is that someone went out of his way to set you up? Out of his way. For what purpose? Out of his way. I'm waiting. Settle out down, of his right? Way. That's it. What? Why didn't I see this before? Someone did go out of his way. Far out of his way. What do you mean? Come on, Jimmy Olsen. Connect the dots. Figure out the story. <laughs> okay. Who... What? The subway man? Who went out of his way? Ed? Is Ed the bad guy here? No. There must be a clue on the map here. Right. I don't see anything right away. Keep thinking. Okay. So what am I missing on the map? What 
have we got? Ed could take yellow line to go to the lab. A green line to go towards the hospital. Anna takes the... Ed, you should take the yellow line to go to the lab. Anna would take the blue line to go to the hospital. So how does Ed run across Anna at the subway? Ed told me that he and Anna met on the subway on their ways to work. Yeah. There's no way Ed would be riding the same subway as Anna in the mornings unless... Unless he was going out of his way to insinuate himself into the life of the only person who could open the vault other than Dr. Morales. Ray, untie me. Do it. Anna, please open the bars. No, stop! You piece you of crap! Me. Ray, close the door. Um, close the door. What do you mean, no, 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 no? Do something! Guys! Alright, what am I doing? Yeah, get up. Oh, there we go. But there was another door over there that I meant to investigate with Anna, and I didn't think to- Oh my god, I can't believe he killed Anna! I can't believe she's- This is your fault. My fault? Yeah! You knocked me out, tied me up. I could have done something. God damn it, he used my gun. Yeah. Well, maybe if you hadn't been acting so shady Ray. to me, I wouldn't have had to- I'm gonna kill you right after I kill Ed. No one's killing anybody. Uh, yeah, probably best that that- No one kills anyone, yeah. Not again. Why are they saying you blew up that lab, Bennett? What? And why are they saying you killed a girl? Man, everyone dumping on Bennett here, and he's just trying to be a good guy. I, I'm still reeling. I did not expect Anna to die. And he just shot her through the head like it was nothing. Ed sucks. I, I was right. I was right to destroy that stuff. Oh my god. So... Yeah, you know I didn't do that. Reg, you know I didn't do those things. Tell me, how do I know that? Because we're friends. Reggie, I may be tough on you, but it's only because I see myself in you. You are the finest up-and-coming detective I've ever had the privilege to work with. After all these months, you must have a bead on me. I wouldn't do those things, Reg. You know I wouldn't. Yeah. Do I? Yes, you do! Who's on this picture? Oh yeah, this guy. Who's definitely involved some way. Okay, well let's tell him about Anna's murder. It wasn't me, Reg. Morales' assistant, Ed, he fooled us all. He manipulated us to get his hands on this new weapon. That's a fun story, but how do I know you're telling the truth? Man, why has everybody got a doubt? Poor Bennett. Alright. Ah, uh, that's not gonna prove I didn't kill the doctor and Anna. So, what is? His note's not gonna help. Well, not that. Something with the alleyway door? Reg, when that lab blew up, I was with you. Yeah, you yeah. You were on that stakeout all night, shooting the shit. You know I couldn't have had anything to do with it. Okay. No, but I don't understand. It's this case. The lab, the vault. I don't have time to tell the whole story now. But it ends with Morales' assistant, Ed, killing Anna Castellanos and stealing a new super weapon called Resonance. Super weapon. Super weapon. We've got to find Ed, and we've got to do it fast. It's bad, Reg. Help us. I got orders. Remember what I said the other day? Sometimes you gotta make your own orders. Come on, <sighs> Reg. I can cover your tracks for a while, but the Chief's got everyone out looking for you. What's with this Chief? 
She's been acting weird ever since she started trying to keep Bennett and me from staking out that post office in Edgetown. Oh, she's in that on it. That stakeout is somehow connected to this yeah. restaurant stuff. How's that? It's the same guy. This is where we use our picture. That shifty-eyed guy we saw in the stakeout was also after resonance. Shifty-eyed guy? Yeah, the guy who stole Tortoise's files on the vault. The guy in the security cam picture. Yeah. Yeah. That's no coincidence. No. I followed it up, though, and I just found some Oriental lady. Oriental is not... <laughs> not PC. <laughs> An origami crane? Whatever. <laughs> well, then you're going back there. Why is that? Because just before the chief sent me out looking for you, I found an origami crane on my desk. Oh. I had no clue where it came from or why it was there, but now, I'll keep the chief off your backs. Thanks, Reg. You two get over to Edgetown. Wait a minute, who's giving the orders <laughs> around here? The one of us who isn't a wanted man. Fair point, fair point. One more thing. Mr. Abbott, you keep that fancy phone around, you won't make it half an hour. Ditch your SIM card and use mine. They won't be looking for it. Well, thanks. Thanks. Call me if you need help. Reg. You're welcome. <laughs> we stick together. Got it? Yeah. Is this gonna be a buddy cup thing now? Ray? Yeah. You're the naive, <laughs> annoying one. I am kind of feeling... Well, I'm reeling. A whole lot just happens. I am feeling a little vindicated, though, in my trust in Bennett. Like, yeah, he was a freaking good guy all along. Knew it. And I knew Ed was skeevy. I did not know he was this skeevy, though. Oh, my God. I thought it was just he was being only a little skeevy, like the over-hopeful guy. Oh, but we can use it for good, so we'll go ahead and fudge that Dr. Morales wanted to destroy it and pretend that we got to keep... I did not... I did not expect him to shoot Anna. Oh, my God. That was... And I got used to having the four characters, and now suddenly we're down to two? And, and poor Anna. All that... Such a horrible childhood. All that crap she came through. Then suddenly this bombshell's dropped on her that the guy she thought she, was her father, that she's had this complicated relationship and memories with, actually wasn't her father at all. The uncle that she loved, but then who abandoned her, was indeed her father. Now she knows the truth. She's got to figure out what she feels about all that. And before any of that can even settle, she's just dead. She's just dead. Oh, that sucks so hard that Anne was killed. And it's freaking, it's freaking Ray's fault. For hitting Bennett with a pipe and tying him up. Like, it, you could have just asked him stuff. Like, the conversation we had with him tied up. Bennett's a good guy. If you'd have come at him calmly and they just talked to him, then he could have worked it out and he would have kept his gun and Anna would have been shot and, yeah, everything could have been alright. But no! Ray's gotta overreact. Ugh. I'm gonna try not to be mad at him because, you know, he's one of our two remaining good guys at this point, but... Yeah, the naive, annoying one is right. Bennett called that. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time we will head on over to Edgetown.